Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Last run, a little tricky, but we made it through, uh, you know, just had to swerve around some of the terrible things that we encounter. But this is a decent start here. One HGR, four TTE, three Spirit Arts is a little dangerous, but uh, we have Forget Me Now and Contract From Below, which is really good. Uh, especially considering that we're actually on Curse of the Labyrinth, which means that we'll be able to get two item rooms from this floor without spending a key. And, and two boss items, of course. And then we'll be able to get two more. Basically, you know, you get double your money, um, out of Forget Me Now in this situation. Instead of getting one extra item room shop and, uh, boss item. We should be able to get two. Unfortunately, there's a, a little bit of variant weirdness going on. Uh, in that we only have enough to pay for one deal with the devil, and we also are seemingly contradictorily uh, guaranteed a deal with the devil, unless some incredible confluence of strangeness happens where we get one red heart and then simultaneously lose all of our spirit hearts, and then somehow lose all of or lose half of that red. It, basically, what I'm getting is a very minute chance we don't get a deal with the devil on this floor. So I'd like to pick up at least one more spirit heart so we can. Uh, give ourselves the best chance possible to take a deal with the devil and actually have precedent for the first run in a one run. I mean, I guess I overstated that a little, but... Um, and our boss fight's right off the bat. I don't... With, with this damage, or this DPS rather, I don't really want to fight this boss right now. This is, believe it or not, actually really good, except for the fact that I hurt myself there. Um, I think we need this little window here to keep ourselves safe. We missed the Tinted Rock? I placed it right next to the Tinted Rock. Okay, well, life goes on. Fortunately, we can't get Monstro's Tooth, but to be honest with you, we wouldn't have wanted Monstro's Tooth anyway, because uh, we need to use Forget Me Now on this floor. Now, we need to be pretty vigilant about creating space for ourselves here, space that we can use to survive. I am very disappointed that I got hit by one of those bombs from Explosive Diarrhea, but at least we didn't double down and get hit by the second one, and I still think it was the sensible decision to use the second one. Um, Lemon Mishap, also unusable. There is a three cent bomb for sale. I think we have to go for that. We could try to double down by blowing up the donation machine and the... the, uh, Skull Man in the middle, but I don't think that's the right decision. Why is this thing so fast? This, I mean, it's hard to argue that this is not worth it. We did just get small rock. But at the same time, I'm not really as interested in small rock as I am in having enough spirit hearts to survive uh, the bosses on this floor. And, and hopefully survive the deal with the devil as well. But there's still a pretty high percentage chance um, for us to come out of this with one HP or greater. Uh, and that's the boss fights themselves, which beyond just regular HP upgrades, could also give us all stat upgrades that do that, or items that give us a bunch of spirit hearts. So, uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes down, but as of right now, I, I have to admit, slightly uh, more anxious than I would have expected. But this is doing something to quell that. Larry Jr. is a somewhat easy boss fight. You know, he's no Widow, he's no Monstro, but he's also no uh, Ragman or the Haunt. So, we, we should be able to beat all of those bosses without taking damage, but the percentages go up when you're dealing with a boss that's fairly not tanky here. Hey, Larry Jr., nice eyeshadow. Oh, wait, you're just crying. Haha, <laughs> this thing feels real human emotion sometimes. I don't know, it's... I figure, you know, engaging some psychic violence against them of the Jean Grey variety. Pageant boy. Given the two nickels, this gives us, um, maybe, I can't remember if there was a spirit heart in the shop, but we can certainly buy Nun's Habit for future use, and I think that's relatively sensible, but no HP upgrade, so effectively we got Nun's Habit from the first boss, that's okay. Now, it's important to note, if we actually hate this last boss, which we do not, but if, if somehow I end up taking a lot of damage, if it feels right, I can, uh, I can get out of here. I can just pop Forget Me Now and, and bounce. But uh, certainly I'd say that this run is not 100% going according to plan. 
But the worst case scenario is that, assuming that the worst realistic case scenario is that I'm going to be leaving this floor with a nice damage upgrade in Small Rock and uh, the Nuns have it with two items I did not have earlier. And we're basically going to be restarting the run five minutes in um, with at least a little bit of a leg up relative to where we were earlier, except for the fact that I'm one Spirit Heart down. But um, we, I, I don't feel bad about our decision-making process. The only mistake we made was getting hit by that explosive diarrhea bomb, and sometimes those are uh, tough to tough to plan for the brownie in motion of them. You know, I'll allow myself that mistake. We did get an HP upgrade, tears up, shot speed down. It's gonna be bad for our range, but good regardless. And honestly, this is a rare situation. I don't. There's so many spacebar items on this floor. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna give myself precedent. And I'm going to take us back to the amount of HP that we started with. And then I'm going to forget us. Now. This is, uh, this is a very strange situation. We're back on the Burning Basement XL. Um, it might not have been the Burning Basement earlier. We're on the Burning Basement XL. And certainly it's a stronger run than we started with. Considering we are basically restarting now. Um, but still scary. Alright, Amnesia sucks and Relax is not amazing. But don't forget about the spirit hearts here. The, the other good thing about this, you know, it, first off, two good things probably. It's going to be relatively fast because it is an XL floor. So boss rush maybe, just maybe is still in the cards, although probably not. And um, it also uh, is going to not cost us any keys. So we're still, you know, accruing a pretty nice assortment of keys here. But I swear, I'm waiting for like some luck. Let's be honest, the Forget Me Now was not as valuable as it otherwise would have been in the sense that uh, both of my item rooms on the last floor were worthless. Now, it is a privilege to be able to reroll those item rooms by doing this all over again, but kind of the point of the Forget Me Now is it takes up a spacebar item slot and you invest a little bit more time, but you get disproportionately more rewards as a result. That's not the situation in which we're dealing with right here. We're, we're trying effectively to break even. Give me a 5 bomb item. Like, sad bombs, obviously, glitter bombs, something like that would be amazing. But I'll, I'll take what I can get. So we get quad shot. Uh, a, it's good. And it is a special item, so it nerfs us a little bit for finding more special items in the future. But it is what it is. Sadly, no bombs seem to drop. I wonder if we have, like, a, a particularly terrible luck stat or something. Alright, I'm content to say the quad shot was a pretty huge improvement for us here. Um, little, little chubby is... is Sort of a wash, but it can be useful. Subtly useful. Really would love to get a bomb here. If not, we're going to the shop. Oh my god, five keys, no bombs. Inside of our shop, we have a spirit heart, which I think is more valuable to buy directly than just picking up a bomb here. Alright, Duke of Flies actually got destroyed. Partly thanks to the little chubby, which I appreciate. We have some HP, which now means we actually can take a deal with the devil. And this might be the moment where we can start to gain the momentum we need on this run. Little Chubby's been great after I insulted it. Alright, we didn't get a deal with the devil, but we got Binky. Much lower tier delay. Our tiers are still going to be pretty uh, slow and thus have poor range. It's another XL floor. Little surprising. Just be methodical here. Honestly, the fact that we've gotten three XL floors in a row means that in spite of redoing one of our floors, I think we still have a really good chance of getting a uh, boss rush. We could conceivably be out of this floor by, you know, 13 minutes, 13.30, which is where you want to be to have a chance at boss rush. Mind you, uh, we have bigger fish to fry right now than boss rush. We're still a little bit unsurvivable. I don't want to say unsustainable, because who knows, but um, we have less survivability innately than I'd like right now. I would almost be content to call this run a win by normal criteria if we just found, like, the relic. Now, that's a big item, but uh, I really think that that's all it takes. And I, I think, honestly, I underestimated the kind of, like, quad shot binky combo. So it gave us four shots and then drastically lowered our rate of fire and then drastically raised our rate of fire uh, as a result of the binky pickup. So I think that that really is... has raised our DPS to a level that is super functional and Sacrificial Dagger is going to be a nice help here as well. Um, I wish I had a little bit more speed, but 
it's kind of rich to be complaining. I mean, we're only technically on the third slash fourth floor of the game. I can't really be like, we need this to succeed. Oh, I didn't even see the super tiny one in there. That guy was going way too fast. And we do still have an item room available here. We should have a decent chance of a deal with the devil. I, I still don't know how Forget Me Now or a five room works with the deal with the devil chance. Like if it, if it burns up one level of that punishment, you know, you get diminished odds after the first uh, deal with the devil until two floors from now. I also don't really know how XL floors count as uh, deal with the devil chances. I'm assuming they only count as one floor, which is a bit of a shitty thing for us, but it's okay. Um, we really owe it to ourselves not to take dumb damage like that. Just because we got Sack Dagger doesn't mean, you know, we have full license to use it all the time. Especially considering we have good tiers. Now, there will come exceptions, as you saw right there. Where it seems to make sense to do it, but let's see what we got going on in here. Um, ideally, a good survivable deal with the devil. If we get one. Stem Cells is fine. A little boring, but also, you know, fairly essential for our purposes right now. That was really good. No deal with the devil, but a speed upgrade. Uh, we're gonna be, um, I'm not even gonna say that we're gonna be glass cannony on this run, because it's too early to tell, but... This is, uh, this is a bit of a weird one. We're simultaneously, like, ahead of the eight ball. Fairly drastically, I think, from a, uh... From a DPS standpoint, but also like behind the eight ball on HP to a large degree. And I, I mean, I could spend a key and five cents to maybe get a uh, spirit heart from our shop, but I don't know if one spirit heart is the is the fix we need. It's a band aid here to a to a larger problem. But, oh, this is really good. The fact that there's still a lot of floor left here and and that it seems fairly rich is good. I would really love to find red chests in here. What I would hate to find is stone chests, because we just cannot uh, seem to get a bomb for the life of us. Red chests. Fantastic. Two spirit arts. That's pretty much all I could have asked for in here. Anything else is gravy. Including those spiders. Spider gravy. It's a classic dish in the Canadian North. <laughs> spiders can't survive up there. Lemon party. Okay, that's fine. Um, the, the spirit arts are huge. If just, just in allowing us to A, have a little bit of a morale boost, B, this is not a, uh, this is not a multiple choice question. These are all correct here. Um, B, uh, give us more long-term survivability. C, a little bit of extra incentive to not feel so bad about using, uh, the sack dagger when we get a chance, admittedly. I can't deny it. You know, the more I try to deny that I love using orbitals offensively, the 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 deeper I slip into, you know, cognitive dissonance here. Be true to thine self, as Polonius said. Okay, uh, productive damage, I suppose, and we did get two spirit hearts dropped. Explosive diarrhea, I can see forever, addicted. As long as we don't get a bad trip, I don't mind. We might as well leave, then use this one, which is a speed down. Pretty much nullifies that speed upgrade we got earlier, but we can use I Can See Forever on the next floor. Infested Lemon Party. Hmm. What's more valuable? Lemon Party or I Can See Forever? I'm going to say it's probably I Can See Forever. This is big. We might want to use Explosive Diarrhea in here to see what we can get out of this. Monster Man Well is... I just want you to know I'm an idiot. What was my thinking here? I was going to try to min-max, so we're going to pick up Monster Man well, and then we're going to use Monster Man well, uh, and then we're going to put it back down. But we actually didn't have a spacebar item to take up the pedestal, so in our in our interim period, the reroll machine became unusable, because I am dumb. So that that was actually a major mistake. I'm not, I'm not afraid to admit that that is a, a genuinely major mistake. This might seem like a bad haul, but honestly, I think... Trading what we traded there for the monkey's paw is okay. I get that we could use explosive diarrhea there, but it doesn't feel like the right play, honestly. I, we're so low on consumables, despite the fact 
that uh, we have contract from below. I The only consequence I can draw from this indirectly is that our luck stat is not very good. But we are back on pace for boss rush, which is irrelevant unless we get a teleport card, because this run is not suited for boss rush right now. But things can change. Um, let's come down here. More red chests. More spirit hearts. Sign me up, man. Shouldn't have done that. Should have waited for, uh... Should have waited for the enemies to dissipate. More spirit hearts, though. I love it. Now, I, I really should use Monster Man well. There's no real reason not to. Even if it does just give us Sister Maggie. And you'll see that I've slipped completely into Sacrificial Dagger action here. And I, I feel justified in doing so. Mostly because I'm, I'm angry at the run. Well, we won't use Sack Dagger here. This is actually... Uh, in, in many ways, this is a very, very good run right now. This is not an XL floor. Um, it's it's only lacking a little bit of everything. And that might seem like it's bad, but I, do, I actually don't mean it that way. It's lacking a little bit of HP or a little bit of extra defense. It's lacking a little bit of damage, although not too much. And then, honestly, wow, that was really bad. And it's lacking a little bit of uh, being piloted by a better player than myself, apparently. But apart from that, it's actually, like, pretty good. And we're very lucky that we've gotten at least a decent smattering of spirit arts that's allowed us to kind of be exempt from the fact that I am uh, playing pretty badly. Algae is probably more valuable than explosive diarrhea. Of course, explosive diarrhea could have saved us some bombs there, but I don't really trust it anymore, given that I hurt myself with it earlier. These guys are inconsequential now. More battery charges. You want to try to make a third level bandage girl right here? Didn't work. Surprise, surprise. Ooh, a spirit heart from the poop. That is uh, a sign from above that somebody up there likes us. Don't really want the fish head. Now, the fish head may well end up being more useful than uh, Monkey's Paw. But if Monkey's Paw ends up being useful, it's very useful. So, we'll hold on to that. And honestly, I don't think we use Algiz here. I think we save it up and we use Algiz uh, maybe on the mom fight. But honestly, I think we use it as late as possible because it enables Sack Dagger to kill a good boss easily. And we will take a guppy item. So that's our first deal with the devil in a little while. We got a little HP out of this as well. And honestly, we will be able to make our shop work for us. I'm not worried about boss rush. Algiz is not like a recipe to win boss rush. It's just a recipe to, you know, the, the first half of boss rush will be relatively easy as a result. I really thought that it would have gotten this guy. That's okay. Um, I would, <laughs> as surprising as it may sound... Really appreciate a uh, an active item from our item room for the 15th time in a row. Latch key, by the way. I was complaining about luck. We got some luck. Probably not an essential upgrade, but, but not bad. A book, a library would be so good. And it would actually vindicate me here. Because if we got like a book of revelations, we'd get so many spirit arts. And maybe we'd only get that library because I stupidly picked up uh, Monster Manuel. It, you gotta admit, it's possible. You know, your odds of getting a library increase with the, uh, increase when you pick up a book. So, the fact that we, uh, took a look at a book, Monster Man, well, we're gonna reroll our whole run again. And I think that, oh, this is an interesting one. We've got Dunce Cap, which is normally, uh, quite dangerous. But we've got Dunce Cap, in this case, combined with, um with uh, Tiny Planet, so we're really just creating a lot of shots. Tiny Planet, also oftentimes fairly bad, but in this situation, I have Capricorn and Magic Mush. I can't remember if they actually synergize with one another, but either way, we're getting some of the benefit from the stats there. I think we take the Compass, and then probably... Ah, starter Deck is good enough. I was like, I don't want to go down to zero money because we could donate some, but maybe let's worry a little bit less about donating and a little bit more about, you know, survival. Right now, and uh, actually, AWAS gives us a chance at boss rush. We also have Libra, which scares the crap out of me. But Libra plus all stats upgrades is probably pretty good. Ra it raises all of our stats, which I guess it did already. But um, 
it's gonna have to be real fast here. But we can AWAS out of boss rush. And we still have Algiz for, I don't know, emergencies. I would rather do boss rush than an item room at this point because we get our choice. But let's, uh... It, it looks like they might be connected to one another, so... Let's see how quickly we're able to actually finish rooms here. I expect that our damage is going to be pretty solid. We are still going to have to kill Mom in the process. That might require the use of, uh... The Revenge Fly, but we'll see. We will see. One more. Probably up here, yeah. Gotta be careful because the tier effects sometimes can make it so it's uh, difficult to see where your uh, enemies are. Got another Spirit Heart. I think that was worth the time investment. We should be able to make it in time, honestly. And it's it's a huge triumph for us that we are going to be able to make it in time. We got very, very lucky because unlike Missing No, you know, Missing No, you get a bad run. Uh, next floor, you get to start all over again. A one room is really, you know, for all the marbles. But in our case here, it actually worked out for us extremely well. We, we drastically improved our run as a result of this. And it may actually have improved our run to the point that we can actually improve it even more as a result of how improved it was, you know? It started going so fast, the momentum gave it a huge advantage here. This is a, a, a really, really good tiny planet run, too, and those don't show up all that often. So take this, hope it's not Krampus. It's not Krampus. You know what? I'll take Necronomicon. Just to have a spacebar item. Little Steven, Ipecac, uh, and the poop. Unfortunately, we end up paying for Little Steven here. Which is not that good. <laughs> Why not take Ipecac? That is a, basically a, a death sentence, to be honest with you. Um, we will use our uh, Necronomicon whenever and probably roughly wherever it's available. Can't really take advantage of that. I mean, we could use Algiz, but I don't think it's worth it. Uh, Algiz now opens up the possibility of the Hush fight. Although, to be honest with you, damage is not really at the point where I'd consider the Hush fight, like, a, a super viable option for us. But it might not be bad. Now, we do have one Guppy item. I don't know if it's worth going to the Cursed Room for that, though. We'll try a bomb and completely waste it and almost hurt ourselves in the process. Uh, a couple times, actually. I honestly don't think we need anything else to win this run. Uh, there's a lot of things that would be nice, but uh, I don't think there's anything that's that's essential. This is... We we asked for a run that gave us a little bit of everything. You know, we, I said we needed a little bit of everything for this to be better. And in a bit of an unusual fashion, we pretty much achieved that goal. We have a little... We've improved in pretty much every area by a decent degree. Temperance. I mean, another thing you can use with the Algiz rune, but is it really... Um, the most productive use of it, I'd, I'd say the Algiz rune is still worth saving as almost like a get out of jail free card in case things go terribly wrong at some point. So that's the first damage we've taken since uh, since our full run reroll. Mr. Dolly is pretty good. And we'll head down to the next floor. That floor took like a minute. That's pretty solid. Uh, great. Necronomicon usage. Oh, okay. Maybe not quite as good on the Necronomicon as I thought. These Lokis are a little tankier. The Tears upgrade from Mr. Dolly is really nice, though. I don't know how range works with my reflection. I just know the sound it makes when it takes a Loki's life. Oh, oh, oh. We'll have to go back for that. This is our Necronomicon room. Closer. Closer. And the gurglings who hold high places must be the ones who start... To charge the Necronomicon closer to the heart. I can't believe Necronomicon just fits syllabically there. I mean, it is charged, but this room is easy enough. Evil Eye, I have to say, bumming me out a little bit because it's not shooting in, uh, it's not shooting in Tiny Planet style, I think. I would love it if it would just give me the the courtesy of doing so. Oh, you know what? It totally is. Thank you. Disregard that. I just, I wasn't acknowledging your incredible presence in the work environment here. So this is where it's all going to come down to the, the hush fight and our choice therein. But I really don't feel like, even with the Algiz rune, the hush fight is something I want to do on this run. 
We do have the keys necessary, but have I not struggled enough with that first floor? Oh, this would be an amazing lump of coal here. And actually, Krampus' head would probably beat the Necronomicon. Ooh, but it is lump of coal. We might as well take this. I still don't think it's worth doing. Uh, the, the hush fight. I've, I've done some silly shit already on this run with the, the Curse of the Labyrinth ridiculousness, but... Curse of the Labyrinth, forget me now, ridiculousness, I mean to say. Let's just stay strong here. Again, the fact that we got a uh, lump of coal here gives us a huge chance. This is going to be win 33, or 32, sorry. 33 is important because it's palindromic, you know? It's got the same, it's the same backwards as it is forwards. If you ignore the fact that if you turn it backwards, you'd have threes that look backwards. You know, it's not like you're looking at it in a mirror. I'm just saying if you reverse the order of the substring, you would have the same... Uh, You'd have the same meaningful sentence there. I like the palindromic wins because they're, you know, arbitrarily symbolic. And it gives us a little bit of a signpost to pay attention to as we prepare to, uh, you know, move on to win 40. But really, we're still at the point where every five wins is, is a milestone we're celebrating because you never know how long it's going to last. And we admittedly have had a... Oh, right, we have a... Samson's Chains, but Steven's good here. And we have had a couple of situations. This is the second run I've recorded today, so lump in yesterday's episode with this. We've had a couple of situations that have been a little dangerous, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy that we've managed to take care of this uh, relatively nicely. Are we better off with uh, Tammy's head than we are with Necronomicon? I mean, I kind of feel like Tammy's head is a little under... Whoa. Is a little underwhelming, given the... Uh, given the rate at which we create our own tiers, but it does create them pretty quickly itself, so maybe it gives us a little bit of a leg up on the room, I don't know. And I thought Tammy's headshots might do more damage as well, but I'm not sure. Tammy's head is weird when, you know, most of the time you're like, sweet, Tammy's head, I've got better tier coverage now than I used to have, um, geographically speaking, but uh, it doesn't really make sense in that case when you have uh, Tiny Planet as well, because... You, you got incredible tier coverage in that fashion. Uh, still trying to land these shots. I mean, I can see them getting bigger as Tiny Planet works. I don't really care about min-maxing Tiny Planet right now. I just want to... Uh, just want to put as many shots on the screen as is possible. And that seems to be working out fantastically right now. The shots last for a long time. And, uh, you know, the longer they last, the more time they have to pass through... I was going to say multi-dimensional, baby, but is it actually just continuum? Or do we have... Oh, no, we have multidimensional, baby. We'll take purity. Scatter bombs, I'm 50-50 on. Definitely not taking Curse of the Tower. And... Okay, there's our, uh, there's our boss fight over there. This should be an easy win. And actually, I'm amazed at how quickly it, it's gone. Considering that... Um, ooh, Proptosis as well. I'm amazed at how quickly it's gone. Considering that... Uh, we did... Uh, do a pretty substantial forget me now earlier on, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. This has actually ended up being a really, really fun run. And it's always nice to have a situation in which you use a full run reroll and you actually get something good. Like so often, you forget that the full run reroll has a chance to save your runs. I mean, that's what makes the D100 so powerful, is that really you can just keep rerolling forever until you get a run that's actually decent. But, um,. When you only get one chance at it, it can be a little dicey. Might as well pop Algis here. Um, it can be a little dicey, but uh, made it happen without too much trouble here. And the Isaac flowchart continues to stand up. To the rigors of real world pressure. Probably should be letting these shots actually survive, but whatever. We're done. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.